Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a big day on FIFA Ultimate Team today because it is a voting day, SBC voting day, between two of the biggest voting cards. Basically, it's a showdown today between two of the biggest cards that have gone head-to-head -head on an SBC vote for the Summer Heat promo to date, and that is Paul Pugba and N'Golo Kante. We're going to talk about both of those cards today, what's going to happen uh, depending on who wins, who doesn't win, the vote today, and maybe talk about who I think is going to win, what the SBC prices are going to look like, and also cover the content that came out yesterday and just talk about everything because this bat is only for one week, and I'm going to show you some stuff that's kind of interesting on this game that we can actually learn from, and it's honestly pointing towards um, more promos coming after summer Heat. So that's kind of interesting. But again, the topic of discussion today is again Paul Pogba versus N'Golo Kante right now on this game. These two cards are facing off today in the voting. Uh, technically, the voting has been done already by most of you guys, but today is the day where we find out which card is going to win. A lot of people want Kante, a lot of people want Paul Pogba. Is there a chance Kyle Walker could win? That would be insane if Kyle Walker would pull off this massive upset. Uh, but I honestly think it is Pogba and Kante who it's going to come down to. And I think a lot of you guys have been telling me that Kante is going to win because Kante is the highest rated card in the vote. But I don't know if you understand the power of a Manchester United badge and the power that that holds on this game. Just speaking of Manchester United really fast, we had a objective Daniel James and a Anthony Martial uh, card released in season the milestone rewards for level 30 so there is plenty of manchester united to go around and honestly both of those cards would link to a pogba this kind of makes me feel maybe this is ea hinting at hey pogba's gonna win this vote we're making the pogba card let's throw out some other manchester united stuff so that you kind of get sucked into doing all these things get you into the game of fifa and play the game for the objectives and then do the SBC for pogba just a thought not sure that it's going to actually happen. But again, let's take a look at these two cards and possibly the upgrades that could be coming in today. Paul Pugba's highest version is a foot birthday item. It is 92 rated with the five star, five star weak footed boost. Six foot three high medium work rates. I have this card. I packed him in tradable. Yes, I'm very lucky. Um, I uh, semi enjoyed this card. Semi enjoy this card. His body type and game is kind of interesting. Uh, he is currently in packs, I believe, as a part of batch three. I think Paul Pogba is in packs as a foot birthday card. Yes, he is still in packs in batch three after what EA did today. But this is his card again, his best version. If he does get an SBC today, I'm thinking it's going to be a 95 or possibly a 96 rated card. And it's going to be juiced. It's going to be crazy. If Paul Pogba does win, and this is my favorite to win today because he is Manchester United. He is Paul Pogba. Manchester has been Manchester United has been playing very well since the... Um, since the restart, and since a lot of games have been being played, he's played pretty well. Manchester United has played it well. And we've had a lot of other United special cards. Kind of the Bruno Fernandes card has come out. That's kind of more hype, along with the new D Daniel James and the Anthony Martial. I think Pog was going to win today. What is this SBC going to come down to cost-wise in the midst of things? Well, let's just talk about an SBC that came out like what? Last week? A week ago on Saturday, we got this SBC right here. Usman Dembele, which is right now 750,000 coins because SBC fodder is still low. Most SBC fodder is still low on the market. So this guy was around a million coins. The first day he came out, is like 1.05 million coins. So it was around a mil, right? Requires two 88-rated squads, I believe. And I think this is maybe an 86, 85, and an 84 or something like that. Basically, it was around a million coins first day for Usman Dembele. Right now, SBC fodder prices are a little bit cheaper, but I think for this card, around a million coins would be a price range where EA could put this card and a lot of people would still do it. Again, if we look back at some of the SBCs that we've had for the, the Summer Heat vote winners, Roberto Firmino was like a 500k SBC, and at the time, that was actually kind of expensive compared to the other Summer Heat cards we had gotten. Luka Jovic, 230k, was kind of expensive compared to like the Andombele that we had had and the Perisic that we had had at that early stage of Summer Heat. Uh, Franck Ribéry, that's not a summer vote, but it was kind of more of an expensive SBC. 
Uh, you know, Lang Lang was kind of expensive, but not like super duper cheap. And if they do release a Pogba today, I think there's one thing that you can count on. It's probably going to have some 88 rated squads as a part of the squad building challenge. Again, I think it's going to be very similar to Usman Dembele. And again, if this doesn't have five squads, uh, maybe it has six. So maybe they add a sixth squad on for Pogba. Somewhere between like the 800k and 1.2 million coin range for Pogba is what I'm feeling today. We will see. Because again, SBC fodder is a bit cheaper than it was in the past couple days, which I do think is a possible investment today. But it all depends again on the type of card that EA released for Pogba if they boost him up and if they make it cheap enough, right? So let's let's talk about Pogba right there. We've done that. Now let's look at N'Golo Kante. So N'Golo Kante, if he does win this vote today, is probably going to be 94 or 95 rated as well. I don't think they will have his Summer Heat card eclipse the team of the year because the team of the year, they don't even put these cards back into packs. This is like the, the most um, prestigious promotion that goes on during the year. This is the top dog Kante that we're going to see. The team of the year cards really, they rarely get trumped. Again, we did see it this year with De Bruyne and some of the other team of the seasons that were at the same level as the top, the team of the year card or just a smidge better. Uh, but in this case, I don't think they will release if Kante does win. I think it'll be a 94 or 95 rated card as a center defensive mid. But that would be an SBC, I think, that would be a bit cheaper than Pogba. And I think a more comparable SBC for a Kante card, if he ended up winning the vote, would actually be the Franck Ribéry SBC, starting off at around like 800,000 coins day one, 700k. Uh, and then, you know, maybe somewhere for the Kante SBC would be somewhere between like 500k and like 800 to 900,000 coins. I know it's kind of a big range, but fodder is kind of low. And I'm really curious to see how the fodder does impact, get impacted by these SBCs today. But that's my thought on who's going to win between those. I feel like it's a 60-40 shot. Pogba wins, right? That's my personal opinion. Now, looking at these special cards, right? This Road to the Final Conte is in packs right now, I think. Check on this for sure. It's kind of confusing what is all in packs right now. I will drop the link to the spreadsheet in the description below in this video. Uh, but this is the batch three cards that were released into packs today. And it kind of makes sense now. We, I remember we talked about it in yesterday's video. We thought we were going to get the TOTS pack, like the repeatable guaranteed team of the season upgrade pack today. That did not come. I don't think we're going to get a top five league uh, TOTS repeatable upgrade. We're going to have that guaranteed TOTS player pack, which could, I guess, possibly come out today as long as well as the Pogba and Kante SBCs. But the reason why they don't have to signify a top five league TOTS card is because they've only included a very select few of cards from the lower league team of the season. Eredivisie team of the season, you only have Ziyech, Promez, and Van de Beek, right? Uh, let's look at Liga Nos. Alex Tellez, Rafa, Gabriel. Guys that invested in Pizzi today kind of got screwed, right? Luckily, uh, the guys that I said was a decent buy, Paulinho for CSL, Paulinho did actually get re-released. Hulk, Paulinho, and uh, Jonathan, and uh, Teixeira, Alex Teixeira. All those guys got re-released. Mitrovic, Phillips, and Ben Whiteman got re-released. So it's going to be interesting with these guaranteed TOTS packs when they do come out, when we're trying to grind them, craft them, and stuff like that. Um, that is going to be very interesting for those TOTS SBCs. And then also the fact that some foot birthdays are back in packs. Future Stars, uh, Shapeshifters, Road to the Finals. Wait, do we have Shapeshifters? Yeah, Shapeshifters are back in packs. And then all of the main league team of the season cards, it is actually kind of like a best of like the best of best of it's not just you know special cards that are specific to batch three we have some batch one and batch two cards that are all enveloped inside of batch three so there's a lot of stuff in packs right now and there's a lot of upgrade packs that are actually pretty solid and they're actually paying out pretty well right now on this game that is also making some interesting moves on the market and again one thing that i did talk about yesterday was out of packs golds they were going to be in packs today, right? Carlos Vela was one of those. This guy was 4,000 coins last night. I bought a couple of them. He is now upwards of 7,000 coins. I probably could have held on to him more, but I needed to clear space on my transfer list because I went three and a half million coins deep into SBC fodder in participation or in, in preparation for the Pogba slash Conte SBC today. I bought this Griezmann at 210,000 coins earlier today as well. That's the other thing that I want to talk about. Um... 
is the the price movements that happened on this market today. And my number one example is going to be a guy that I even, I think I talked about this guy in, in yesterday's video as well. Since there was panic selling already, I knew there was going to be a, another little round of panic selling today and then a rebound. And this dude was the perfect, wow, he's over 270 now. This guy was the perfect storm today. 275,000 coins for Jamie Vardy, who is now in packs, right? Check out this graph. This is the story of what happened a lot today with some of these cards. Vardy was 300,000 coins today before the content drop. Obviously got re-released back into packs. All of the saved packs were open within the first hour. He drops all the way down to 200,000 coins right in the uh, 6 to 7 p.m. UK time frame. People go and buy cards back to use for Weekend League and bang. He's back up to 270,000 coins. That actually happened a lot today. There was a lot of rebound on the market, which is what I expected. Some cards are kind of coming back down. Uh, and they're, I think there's going to be more market movements that are going to be trending downward today. I think you're going to see people panic sell cards in today. Look at this. Salah, 200, 537,000 rebounded back up to 600K on the PlayStation where he currently is. So 530 back to 600K. So there was a lot of panic opening packs, extra supply coming to the market and then rebound later in the day today just because the fact that people need to buy their weekend league teams, that they're buying these cards, they're using them. Some of the really top tier cards didn't move that much. And actually one specific example, if we want to look at one of these guys, Foot Birthday Mbappe, who is not actually in packs. This guy was like 3.75 mil last week, 3.8 mil. He's up over 4 million coins now. 3.86 last night, and then 3.8 all today, and then boom. People buy up their weekend league teams. He's up to 4 million coins. I expect all of this stuff to drop back down this weekend. I really do, because two things. Two things why I expect this market to come back down this weekend. Number one is the SBC coming today. Pogba, Conte. A lot of people would love to do one of those SBCs, put that card in their club, build around it, build a team around it, right? They're both they're both French. People have a lot of Summer Heat cards that are French already from objectives and from SBCs. That's just more incentive for people to do those SBCs. So either of those SBCs, whoever does end up winning today, I think you're going to see some market movements today and some crashing on the market today because of those cards actually coming out. And the second thing is, again, we're still getting more SBCs. Today, we got an awesome Vidal SBC with a huge boost. This guy's almost club 90. Really, really good looking card with, I think it requires two 86 rated squads, um, which is a little bit much for me, but the chemistry isn't that high, so it's not that expensive. Footpin is saying 250K for Vidal and fodder is a bit cheaper right now. So, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a weird situation where fodder has dropped in the past couple hours because EA released all of these special cards back into packs and all of these packs were opened. And that just kind of, a lot of these special cards, team of the weeks, man of the matches. And like, uh, here's an interesting situation today, right? What you don't see on my transfer list is some Busquets. I bought some gold Busquets today um, for, I bought them last night for 34 to 35,000 coins, right? Busquets is now, I think, like 42,000 coins. But Busquets' is Tots card, the 93 rated Busquets, is also 45K. This card and this card are 3,000 coins apart from each other. It is crazy how much some of the out-of-packs fodder has risen. So if you were lucky and if you did invest in some of this stuff, and it's not up yet, right? I've invested in fodder that is not up yet as well. I invested in some Cavani's. He's actually down a little bit. I invested in some Informs and some Future Stars. And this stuff is actually down a little bit in price. Mooney Iron, again, getting re-released back into packs. Scrini R hasn't moved. Te Tejas, the Inform, hasn't moved. A lot of these cards are kind of the same in price at the moment. A lot of these golds, too. De Bruyne is out of packs, but he's actually down three or 4,000 coins. If we get multiple 88-rated squads today for a Pogba or for a Conte, which I think would almost be guaranteed with the price that those SBCs should be, even a Salah as well, right? This guy's 40,000 coins right now. I was buying him for 43K last night. Uh, I think it's still even even a better time to buy SBC fodder if you have not already because I think there's going to be such and uh, just a point of pushing people towards SBCs in the next few days with the repeatable TOTS pack that will come out 
and the Pogba slash the Conte, the Vidal that is in there right now. Of course, we have the um, Danilo SBC that I did today. We've got Rebic in here. Like the focus with the Conte and maybe the repeatable, these Tots guaranteed packs, there's a huge focus on SBCs right now. So if you bought 82s, 83s, 84s, and if you want to buy more because they're still kind of cheap right now, right? If you still want to buy some of these cards, be my guest. Because the big time pack supply came today on Friday. I was a bit scared of it. But the reason I think a lot of this went down was we didn't get multiple SBCs today. We didn't get anything repeatable. We didn't get anything that like if that would have released that TOTS pack today or yesterday, which I thought they were going to, that we would have seen a lot of this stuff rise. Some of the 84s I told you guys to buy, right? Uh, Moutinho is up 1,000 coins. Gundawan was 9K today. He's up 2,000 coins almost. So some of these cards did rise. Um, but I think they're going to go higher later this week. So I am not selling my fodder. In fact, if I wasn't, you know, going to have to go on a sign, which I don't want to, cause I want to do upgrade packs, I would buy more. I would buy more SBC fodder. If I could 82s, 83s, 84s, stuff that is not risen, just check, take a look at graphs, look at prices and stuff like that. And then some of this 87 and 88 rated stuff too, is getting kind of interesting again. Cause like this Guerrero last night, bought him for 20K. Lozano bought him for 21K. Navas bought him for 20K. They're still around the same price, maybe one to 2K lower. And a lot of these Tots cards that are in packs are just kind of now getting down to very cheap ranges. I think there's a possibility they pop up today because of the amount of demand for the Pogba or Conte SBC. But again, it just depends on what kind of content EA releases, the price of it, how good it is. And also the... Uh, upgrade, right? It just all depends on a lot of, of things today. Uh, so we'll kind of be watching that. And I do think people will have to sell cards to go do Conte, do Pogba, whatever SBC comes out today. And if there is a repeatable TOTS upgrade SBC, that's going to cause people to push more cards out of their club as well. So if you have tradable cards in your club that you maybe bought yesterday and you're making coins on them, I would cash it out because I don't think we're done just yet with prices going lower. I I expect, fully expect to see basically all prices on the market lower than they were today at some point in this next week because batch three is not a two week set. It is a only one week set, man. And I want to show you that something is very, very interesting with all these objectives, right? Daniel James came out today, only available for seven days, right? These cards are only in packs for seven days. Why not two weeks? Go in here and look at squad building challenges. All Look at all these SBCs. Vidal, Vidal expires in seven days, right? The upgrades expire six days, however many hours. So Vidal will overlap one day. But basically all of the other SBCs that are inside here right now, even the prime icon, this SBC expires at the end of this promo on basically a week from Friday. So whatever is coming next Friday, there's there's going to be something I think comes next Friday because batch three is going to end and literally everything is going to be gone except some some overlapping summer heat SBCs, probably Pogba or Conte, uh, obviously um, the Vidal that we have right here. But something I think is going to be coming next week based on all of this stuff expiring next Friday. And I find that very, very interesting. But one thing a lot of people are going to do this week is spam this upgrade pack right here. I did a bunch of these today on stream. I packed, I did 14 and I packed one tots or two team of the seasons, I think. Oh, I packed two team of the seasons. I wanted three. And if any of you guys saved 84 plus packs, I uploaded a video just a couple hours ago on those packs. The 84 plus packs, if you save those, the 85 to 92s and the 88 plus, if you save those, those packs are the most rigged things I've ever seen. It's a guaranteed like 90 plus card. If you open the 84 plus packs, the 84 doubles that were from last week, if we get those SBCs re-released even for like 24 or a 48 hour period at some point this week, which I hope EA sports, if you're listening, please drop the 85 to 92 and the 84 double plus because those packs with these amount of cards that are in packs is the most OP upgrade pack I have ever seen. And the market would go crazy for those. We would see tons of stuff dropping because people would just want to buy upgrade packs. I think gold rares right now, which it's way easier to search for gold rares with these new filters, by the way, shout out to EA. Thank you. Uh, I think they're like 900 to a thousand coins right now uh, for most gold rares. Some of them, you know, from the off leagues are kind of cheap, but if it, you need 50 chem for the, for the gold SBC. So I think a lot of the top five league rares are around like 900 coins and a lot of people are spamming these packs. So I'm surprised these aren't getting bought Insta, which it looks like some of them are. But um, 
you know, that's a very viable thing. I did 15 of them tonight, I think. I'm gonna be hammering these throughout the week this week because this is the time of the year. This week is our one week shot uh, to pack a lot of these Talos cards and get a second chance at packing them before we see what does happen after this. Now, maybe save a few coins, all right? Maybe save a few coins for what could be coming after this promo, but at least for this next week, upgrade packs are gonna be your best friend and hopefully a lot more SBCs are coming out in this week of FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. If you're voting for Pogba, vote. Tell me you got Pogba down below. If you voted for Conte, tell me you're rooting for Conte down below. And if there's anybody out there that voted Kyle Walker, you might be disappointed today, unfortunately. But uh, you can comment down below as well. Just comment Kyle Walker or something, right? Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I think I already said that. But I will catch you guys in a video tomorrow. It's going to be a fun day on the market. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.